Hello YouTube, how you doing? This is Blood News. You know, I was watching some videos about um the African American family and uh, the lack of fathers and uh you know like the different um problems that's going on in the African American family, the community in general. You know, um I'm reading something here about the percentage of uh black families without a father. This is disturbing. This is, I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, I, I see a lot of videos on YouTube when people talk about, you know, black men don't want to date black women, black women don't want to date black men, and I don't see videos like that about other cultures. And you know, I'm black, and probably so, but I don't understand what's going on. I, I, I I'm kind of confused, and I like to know what's going on in terms of um the culture you know why is it that you know we are still down after so many years of i guess you would say freedom um i have to be honest with you our culture and i think we as a people um we need to evaluate what's important is it the guy throwing money in a club i mean or is it the, the, the guy going to school working two or three jobs trying to feed his family and feed his kids? Um, I could go into the whole social aspect of what I learned about what happened to the black family. And matter of fact, I will. I'm going to get into it. Um, based on what I know and what I recognize, is that there's a lack of respect within the black family between the black woman and the black man and vice versa. There's a lack of understanding and there's a lack of humility and uh, I think in general there's a lack of responsibility. You know, I look at African Americans and black, us black people and, and I, let me clarify this very, you know, simply. There's different, not only classes, but cultures of black people. There are educated black people, there are smart white people, I mean black people, just like there's uneducated and dumb white people. It, it is what it is. Um, I think the psychology of the black family as a unit is one that's deeply uh, troubling. I, I look at statistics, I deal with a lot of families in my line of, in my line of work. I deal with a lot of people and um, so I get to see all sides of the social aspect of what's going on. I'm not preaching, so I don't want anyone to judge me personally. It's all oh, you big, ugly, bald-headed bastards. Like, you know, <laughs> whatever. The point is very simple. What I'm trying to make is there needs to be more dialogue amongst so-called black leaders and popular black people about what is socially acceptable and socially acceptable behavior why is it that we have the highest crime rate the highest incarceration rate the high, highest rate in diseases the highest rate of um ch children we want out of wedlock um this is not only sad but it's disturbing it, it's something that it it's only going to make us worse you know there's only one way for me to categorize it is that there's a mentality that's within the general population. At least from what I see on YouTube. If I was to if I wasn't black and I was judging black culture based on YouTube, I would get a really negative impression. Because I would look at the music, I would look and the music was all about bitches, hoes and guns. Certainly not all of it, but what's being played on the radio mostly. Uh, most of the top artists they look stupid. It is what it is. Um, you know, if I'm looking at um, YouTube, I'm not seeing intelligent people that know how to debate and talk like a guy like Stephen A. Smith or a Michael Smith or one of those guys on the ESPN, which, by the way, I think those guys are awesome. Um, or um, some guys on CNN and stuff like that, because the majority of black people are not like that. They're, they're not they don't they don't want that that's not what they do so for me when i um 
see the way black culture is being presented on YouTube and what people are um, basically um, following and what's popular is kind of sad to me. It makes me think of one possibility. Um, I was asked this question the other day by a friend and we were talking. And he asked me, what do I think about slavery? And, uh, you know, he's, he's white. And uh, I said, well, you know, I think it's fucked up. It's a horrible, you know, horrible legacy. It's a horrible heritage. And it's still affecting us blacks today in, in terms of our mentality and everything. And then he brought a good point because he said that's exactly why I think black people could, again, be re-enslaved. And um, just like and everything goes around in circles, um, do I think some of the horrors of the 20, 20th century and 21st century could happen again? Of course I think, because men are generally evil. Human beings, I think we're generally fucked up individuals. I think we're fucked up. I don't think we're do too good for the environment um, and, 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 and so on and so on. I think everything we touch, we destroy. Now, when I look at black people, you know, do I think black people could again be re-enslaved? Yes, of course. Because what happens is, after the Civil War, there was a period of reconstruction. And within that period, all the southern states, at least most of them, a lot of counties and mayors, they, they, they were black. So if your culture is being taken away from you, and all of a sudden you have freedom, you don't know how to act. Now, back then, during the reconstruction, um, period after slavery before Jim Crow. Jim Crow, that little time right there, blacks, I, I personally believe, enjoyed the greatest success this country has ever afforded it. Uh, it wasn't just mo monetarily, it was also social. Um, a lot of music was being developed, a lot of art, a lot of freedom they never had in this country. But they were doing it in a way that was more socially acceptable to everyone. Now, Racism back then was just intolerable, so they definitely couldn't have black people prospering. So, you know, you have all types of atrocities that were committed against black people. But now, I see the trend has shifted. Right? It saddens me, but I see a lot of the crimes, even a lot of the hate crimes, are being done by black people. Towards not only black people, but towards um, homosexuals, towards people of other ethnicities. Um, and it kind of saddens me um, when I see that we've taken that position. You know, there, I don't think there's any excuse anymore for how far we've come and for our behavior. There's no, I don't think there's any excuse for some of the stuff I'm seeing online. Like you, you, there's, there's really, it's inexcusable. Like, you know, I see a lot of black people with pants sagging and yeah, I, I just I don't understand it and I'm not being racist I, I am black what I'm trying to say is this, we need to have a dialogue see what happens is when people like me start talking about black people people start flagging our, 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 our channel we start getting hated though. now all of a sudden we're racist there's nothing racist what I'm saying I, I, I love black people I just think that collectively as a family as a unit we're destroying ourselves. It starts from home. Where there's no fathers at home. There's, you know, it's, there's a lot of fathers missing. Now you could blame that on the fact that the government I think pushes for that. Um, the fact, if a woman wants to get child on food stamps, um, there's a provision on that paperwork that states that that the the, the husband, um, if he doesn't have a job or if he doesn't live there in the house. It's like she automatically almost has to put him on child support. Now, child support started off as a great thing, but now it's just turned into a weapon. Which, I mean, look at Tula Aloha. Look what's going on with this fucking idiot. Look at, these women are getting $20,000 a month, and they're still going after him for more. And they're still, this man, he's done. He's, he's forget about it. He's, he, and he needs a prayer. He needs God. He needs whatever you want to believe in. He needs that shit. Um, the black family has been destroyed. A lot of the men are being institutionalized. They're coming out. They can't support their family. And then, to make matters worse, the, the level of support that I think that the black woman should be giving the black man, man, I think in most cases, especially in cases where people are living in the same uh, certain neighborhood, it, it's not there. 
And I think there's a mentality with the black community. I'm gonna get mine and fuck you, fuck you, her, and you know, you ain't no good, you a go down very dog, whatever. A lot of these um women I see on YouTube who complain and complain and complain. But why are you opening your legs and having unprotected sex and allowing a guy to nut up in you and shit? Like maybe there's a baby that's gonna come out of that, you know. People tell me, well, there's the highest rate of abortions amongst blacks. That could be a good or bad thing. If the current trend is continuing, that might be a good thing. I'm being quite honest with you. Um, you know, it's a bad thing because you're destroying your own race. I mean, that's just, uh, that's just what it is. You know, I, I think it also has to do with our mentality, which, um, like I said, it's sad to say. Now, I think our, because as a community, as a people, I think we need to wake up and um, we need to know what's right, and I think that there is some serious, we're talking about some serious generational problems that are only going to get worse, only going to get worse. Never mind, they say, oh, well, you have a Jay-Z, you have a, a, a Barack Obama who's a president. Listen, the overall population of black people in this country needs some serious fucking help, and it is true. And I do think a lot of it is now, at this particular, 2012, a lot of it being self, um, is being self-generated hate. And I think when we were taught to hate ourselves so bad that now you don't need to crack a whip. You don't need to hang a black person. You can just sit back and um, put a, 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 a liquor store in the neighborhood, um, put a Chinese or whatever type of other crap store in the neighborhood, put a couple of uh, fast food stores in the neighborhood, put a gun store in the neighborhood, and um, flood the neighborhood with, um, you know, we accept EBT and WIC things all over the place. and Hey, guess what? Um, just like that, the neighborhoods destroy. It is what it is. Now, there's a way to socially destroy a neighborhood. I mean, there's some seriously prominent neighborhoods down here in Miami um, that are historical. But when I drive through Overtown, it, 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 it's like a zombie town, bro. Like, it's sad. Um, and once again, for any idiot out there who wants to say, that I'm going to black this video because you're being racist, bro. Fuck you. It's called being self-critical. If I know I have a problem... The first thing for me to do is to look at the problem head on and to say, okay, I have, I'm an alcoholic, I'm a drug addict, I'm a sex addict, I'm a whatever, I like to beat on my wife, or I don't, I just, I'm just a lazy bum, I like to smooth me, whatever your problem might be, before you could even um, defeat that problem, it's to basically say, okay, acknowledge the problem. So all I'm doing is acknowledging the problem in our own household. And as a black man, believe me, I understand there's a lot of pressures, man. I acknowledge a problem in my culture, and I acknowledge a problem in my household. Now, a lot of people might say, well, you have an accent. Where are you from? Well, I'm of Haitian descent. My background is of Haitian descent. And um, I'll, I would make a whole other video of, you know, Haitian culture versus African-American culture. Trust me, it is vastly, vastly different. Vastly different. Our, our culture closely resembles African culture. And let me tell you, um, based on what I've noticed, a lot of Africans can't stand African Americans. And a lot of African Americans look down on Africans. The stupidest shit in the world. We're all black. You know, you got a country like the Dominican Republic right next to Haiti, in which, uh, I mean, I am lighter than most Dominicans. Trust me. And I know the lighting in here is a little fucked up. Let me see if I can do it. Like I, I can't really do it, but whatever. I'm lighter than most Dominicans here. A lot of people in my family are lighter than most Dominicans. But believe you when I tell you that a Dominican who is as dark as this fucking telephone right here will kill and fight to the death to prove that he's not a Haitian. And to say, oh, I'm not black, I'm, 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 I'm mixed. Self-hatred at his best. Um, you know, I'm, not, I'm, I'm ranting all over the video, but the bottom line is until we start criticizing ourselves and doing what I'm doing in this video right here, and understanding that we're fucked up. We are fucked up. We need some psychological help. But I think we need a lot of psychological help and prayer because of what slavery I don't think people really understand the impact of slavery. It's still ongoing. It's still affecting us. There is a slave mentality that we need to shed and we need to basically wake up from this nightmare that we're having. Because let me tell you something. Being a business owner and being one of the very few black business owners um, that do what I do, it is troubling. And you walk into a room and you're talking and you're evil and you don't even fucking black folks. And it's sad. So it saddens me as a human being to see that we're not learning from our 
Lessons in history. Hopefully you change.